So for starters, what I want to share with you is Allah owes us nothing. We owe Allah everything. Allah is ghani. He's free of need. He's hameed. He's praised and thanks, thanked even if no one praises Him and no one thanks Him. If nothing exists, His praise, of, praise and thanks already exists anyway. And on top of all of that, everything that we have, وَآتَاكُمْ مِنْ كُلِّ مَا سَأَلْتُمُوهُ He has given you everything that you have ever needed. Everything that you have ever needed, He's the one that's given it to you. That's Allah's claim over us. We constantly owe Him gratitude. And this is what Allah has done. He has given us every single possible need we had and so many things that we could never pay Him for. Like the ability to breathe. If, if you know, look around the room and everybody here, most people here have the ability to see, have the ability to stand up and walk. And there are so many human beings on this earth who cannot stand up, who cannot walk. We take for granted the ability to go to sleep. There are people who are in so much pain, they can't go to sleep. So we, we take these priceless gifts like our body, like the organs that we've been given, like the family that we've been given, like the air that we're breathing, like the ground that we're standing on. What's keeping the ground from shaking? The entire life of Ibrahim salam thanking Allah. And you know how Allah describes his entire life? He says, Shakiran li an'umihi. He was only able to thank Allah for very few favors. An'um is used for few favors. Ni'am is used for many favors. Meaning even if a slave of Allah like Ibrahim salam spends his entire life thanking him, he can only do so for what? Very little to nothing compared to what Allah has given. And then he says, وَإِن تَعُدُّوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْصُوهَا If you try to fully understand, fully comprehend one favor of Allah, you wouldn't be able to completely count it. Not all the favors of Allah, one favor of Allah. نِعْمَةَ Allah, لَا تُحْصُوهَا the simple ability to think is one favor of Allah. How many ways does that one favor of Allah benefit me every minute of every day? I can't even begin to count for one favor of Allah. How am I going to thank Allah for everything that He's done? That is wahiratan wa batina, things that are obvious. Asbara alaykum ni'amahu wahiratan wa batina. He says He showered, He flooded you with His favors, the ones that are obvious and the ones that are hidden. How many people realize that when they're driving their car on the highway, يُرْسِلُوا alaykum hafada? He sent guardian angels on both sides. Security for your vehicle, so you can get home. The fact that your car didn't go off the cliff is not because the brakes are functioning, it's because the angels were sent by Allah Azza wa protecting your vehicle. How many people realize that? So the favors of Allah that are seen, and the favors of Allah that are not seen are so many, that even if we were thanking Allah with every breath of our existence, we still wouldn't even come close. We wouldn't even come close. That's why Allah says about humanity, He says, مَا قَدَرُ اللَّهَ حَقَّ قَدْرِهِ They could not appreciate Allah like He deserved to be appreciated. They couldn't do it. They couldn't value Allah like He deserved to be valued. But now think about that. How much does Allah do for you and me every day? And how little do we thank Him? How little do we thank Him? And then we need something else again. And we don't even ask. My lungs need air every breath, yes or no? And even when I'm disobeying Allah, they need air, yes or no? And even when I'm forgetting about Allah, Allah doesn't forget me and He gives me anyway. My lungs asked Him, my heart asked Him for another beat. My eyes asked Him to stay moist so they can see. And He keeps giving them even when I don't even care to ask. Why well, I don't even care to ask. And this is the giving of Allah that I can never thank Him for. Now we come to understand the name Shakur. However little you thank Allah, however little you do for Allah, because whatever we can do is going to be very little. Allah says He, ex he extremely appreciates it. Ghafurun Shakur means when you pray and I pray. Allah appreciates that we prayed. Allah likes that we, uh, and our prayers have how many mistakes? How many people are thinking about something else? Okay, so if, if the prayer was supposed to be like a building, you gave Allah some broken bricks. And what does Allah do? Allah covers for all of your mistakes and turns it into a building for you, Ghafoor. And then, after turning it into a full building by His name Ghafoor, what does He do? He appreciates you for praying. <laughs> for this beautiful building that you didn't build, you just gave Him some broken bricks. And He acknowledges that you, this is Allah being Ghafoorun Shakur. Meaning, our good deeds, even our good deeds have shortcomings. They have shortcomings. First, Allah will fill those shortcomings Himself, and then He will actually acknowledge us and appreciate us for the broken down, pathetic efforts that we make 
the sorry excuse for ibadah that I'm able to do, he covers up for it and then he appreciates me for it. This is wallahu ghafurun shakur.